I do want to uh, have an opportunity at this time just to introduce a few luminaries that are here tonight. Um, you'll see some of them coming up later on, but um, as, as the aforementioned uh, individual who was said, uh, I want to just recognize the presence of good old J.R. Jim Ross. Also in attendance, a former diva in WWE, Ryan Shamrock, ladies and gentlemen. And also, and he'll be up here later tonight, I said this last year, if you wanted to make a name for yourself in WWE, you had to go through Mancini, Bill. And he's here tonight, Mario Mancini, ladies and gentlemen. All righty, um, our next inductee, it's going to be my honor and pleasure to induct and present Jim Corderas. What do I say about Jimmy that hasn't been said before? Uh, he has been, he was one of the greatest referees that I've ever seen. He was fair, he called it down the middle. One of my aggravations is a true three count. I've seen referees go one, two, you know, and that's not a true, true two seconds. And Jimmy was right on the money, spot on with his counts. Now, Jimmy began working as a professional referee in 1985 in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. Uh, at first, uh, he was hired by, as a driver by his friend Elio Zolenga. And uh, it just became better and better and better. And Elio was uh, second in command only to Jack Tunney. And he suggested that he make Jimmy a referee. Right, Jimmy? Pat, okay, that's good. All right, and then in 1987, he got his big break. He joined the WWE, and at WrestleMania IV, he had a little bit of a problem. If you remember, yes, sir, you were knocked unconscious by a megaphone shot from Jimmy Hart. You uh, got in harm's way, and you paid the price. But Jimmy, of course, uh, had many, many positives, and also, uh, I bring this up only because it was eventful. Uh, he was the referee in 1999 at Over the Edge between, well, it was supposed to be Owen Hart, the Blue Blazer, if we remember. That was an evening that we will never, ever forget. Um, also, uh, Jimmy has uh, been very, very vocal in his, in his progress. Um, in, in, in late 1999, we had a referee strike and Jimmy was the only one that decided to go against the grain. He didn't want to join, and the rest, as they say, is history. Uh, there have been so many other major accomplishments for Jimmy, but the one accomplishment that I hold true to myself, and I'm sure yourself, there was, he was a, a hell of a referee. He really did his thing. He made everybody believe that the referee was a very integral part of the presentation, and it is very true, that is the case. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege and pleasure to present and induct into the New England Rest Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2015, Dimitri Jimmy Corderas. Yeah, yeah, uh, film at 11. Wow, this is unusual. A referee with a microphone in his hand. Uh, not used to this. This is Howard, first of all. Thank you very much. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Howard was employee number one for Vince McMahon. And still is employee number one. His, his employee number is one. So that's it. And 35 years, and he was probably the oldest friend I've had from the WWE and still one of my best friends. I appreciate that. Thank you, Howard. Um, uh, man, this is, like I said, this is really cool. I don't know what to say. And uh, I don't mean to correct Howard, but it was actually Pat Patterson 
who suggested to Jack Tunney, despite his Jack Tunney's reservations about smartening the kid up to make him a referee, and I appreciate, I have to thank Pat Patterson. There are so many people that I need to thank that I'm not going to have time to mention here, but obviously we talk about family. There's your road family that you have all those years on the road, but you also have your family at home and my wife, Audra, who, yeah, they make, they make the sacrifices too, just as we do. So I appreciate everything. I appreciate uh, all the people who are here that I had to work with. I'm going to mention them. Jim Cornette's here. Ed Cohen, who I've known for a long, long time. I'm glad he's in the Hall of Fame as well. I mean, what more can you say? This is, um, uh, I'm still a huge, huge fan of professional wrestling. And I watch as many companies as I can. It's not just a WWE thing or it's not just a this company thing. I watch ROH. I watch TNA. Uh, as much as I can, I watch New Japan. I watch Lucha Underground. I watch it all. There's elements of each company that I don't like, but there's elements of each company that I do like. But at the end of the day, I love professional wrestling, and I am still a huge fan. And to make things short and sweet, I am now a Hall of Famer. I'm proud to be. Thank you very much for this honor.